Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A nice spot indeed. We've got somebody, somebody over here riding a snowmobile. We've got little houses with solar panels. We've got a lot of snow, big mountains, a little bit of bushes. And the question is where in the world are we? To that, I really don't have an answer. I'm going to guess northern Russia. Sure, really north up here. Let's say that we're going to be like right around um, right around over here, right near Nickel or something like that. I think that's not a terrible guess. You make the guess and the answer was really northern, northern, really northern Sweden. Sweden was the actual uh, answer. My goodness. Well, there you go. Hopefully some of you guys figured that one out. <laughs> All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. The wide open prairies, big fields of grass and trees and rocks. Surprisingly enough, I didn't expect uh, to see that. Big fences, big open land. My God, this is the kind of area you could go horseback riding, escape if you're a wanted criminal. Um, do that whole conspiracy nonsense I always talk about uh, whenever we're in locations like this. Or pretty much just uh, camping would be pretty cool. Hiking? I don't know. Horseback riding? No, that sounds like a lot of fun. Anyways, this is today's daily challenge, meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world you think this is, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner. The person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but... There is glory to be won. So if you are interested in becoming today's top geo guesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by none other than Nighty. Thank you so much, Nighty, for this challenge. Now, some of you might be wondering, my God, it seems like the last couple of challenges, a lot of them have been by the same people. And you know what, you guys are right. Since uh, August 24th, it seems that uh, photospheres in the game have had a lot of trouble working. So if you guys have sent a challenge in before August, 24, uh, August 24th, just send it again. Send a challenge again. We'll make sure it works first. Then, once you've made sure it works, just send it again. That way, you know, I got a bunch of fresh challenges. And if you've been thinking, hey, you know what? I want to make a challenge, and I want Aether to play it. Well, then make a challenge. It's got a really good chance of me uh, playing it uh, very shortly. So uh, I appreciate that uh, very much, but I also appreciate it from you guys that have been sending in challenges in the last couple of days. So thank you so much, Nighty, for uh, this one. This one is that theme we all know and love, Places You Have Been. I thought you had already sent one with that theme. Maybe this is others, or maybe we have just been so doing so many of that theme that... Uh, you know, uh, we're starting to lose track of who sent them in and who has not. So thank you so much, Nighty, for this one. If you guys are interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is a look down in the old description below. You'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. All right. Now, it, what's really cool about these ones is, uh, you know, it is a challenge. I, I'm not going to say that it's never going to get old. Although, I almost feel like it will never get old. And the reason why it would never get old is because, well, I mean, you guys have been to plenty of places in the world. My God, it's always cool to see places that you've actually been, because then I can be like, wow, you know, this is not just a place where no one is. I mean, of course, you know, you can always see there's people here, and there's plenty of cars and stuff like that. So it's pretty clear. But uh, it's nice having that kind of attachment, you know, knowing, you know, this is out of, like, the, the small audience that is uh, on this channel, just to know that some of you guys have actually been to these places is pretty darn cool. The only sort of drawback that could eventually happen down the road would be, uh, you know, of course, when you guys travel, uh, it's very common for you guys to go to, you know, big cities, big places like that. So, of course, it's going to be, there's going to be more of those. Uh, it'll be make it sometimes a little bit easier to guess because it's like, well, I mean, over here, you know, where are we, where have we visited? Uh, we're, we're going to, like, um, I have no idea. You're going to Latvia or something. Well, I mean, if you've gone to Latvia, then, uh, I mean, in that case, you're going to be in, like, uh, Riga or something like that, right? If you visit Latvia, you visit Riga or, or whatever. I don't think this is Latvia. Maybe, uh, Lithuania? Yeah, it's going to be hard to tell. Well, do I think we're here? Well, I honestly say it's not a bad guess. It very well could be. 
Uh, but uh, let's have a little bit of a better idea. Maybe we are in Poland? Ugh, it's hard to tell. It is very hard to tell. So let's get ourselves some little idea of where we could be. Dot S I S L S I S L. All right, now which one is S L? It's it's Slovenia, I believe. Uh, so let's go over here. You know, a tiny little river. I think that's a possibility. We could be in. Ljubljana, Ljubljana, ah oh boy, is that a silent J? Is that a silent L? Ljubljana. Eh, that sounds like it could be a name. All right. Uh, what about Maribor? Maribor got a little bit more hefty of a river. Okay. Or are we in Slovakia? Bratislava. Oh, that's got the river going hard on there as well. This is always that eternal struggle, the fact that I never know which country we're going to be in. Well, let's try and find a flag, right? Because that, that's going to that's gonna help us if I'm able to find a flag. These... Is Slovakia part of the EU? Good question. I believe it is. Slovenia, I'm almost certain it is. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty much certain. But is it really... Uh, I don't know, LJ, alright, Slovenia is starting to seem like a good idea, you know, we already know that L's and J's are common in, uh, in Slovenia, so I think that's probably a good guess, I think I'm gonna go with Slovenia, I mean, seeing a flag, oh, there it is, that is, that is indeed, I believe the Slovenian flag, right, is it, it looks, uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but I mean it's very similar to a Croatian flag. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go say yeah. And I think we're in Ljubljana. Wow, I don't know how to pronounce the name of the city, but we'll go with that. We're gonna guess right there. And the answer is Maribor. Damn it. Really? That was that was the waterway we saw? Meg my god, didn't look I didn't think that was it. Mar Maribor was the answer. Well, hey, we got the country right. That's at least something. Okay, well, where are we now? So you have been, my god, you've been to Maribor in Slovenia. That's really cool. Hey, what the hell? This is a photosphere. And it works. Actually, wasn't today's daily challenge a photosphere? Our photosphere is working again. Didn't I make a little warning in the beginning of this episode? Oh, I could probably play old challenges. Yeah, yeah, today's today's daily challenge was a photosphere, wasn't it? And so is this. Well, all right, interesting. Good, maybe that's good news. Maybe GeoGuessr has been saved and we don't need to worry about the impending downfall of this game. Oh, thank goodness for that. All right, where is this? This place looks really, really cool. My God, is that ever a sigh of relief? Uh, well, that's really interesting. Okay. This definitely is a photosphere. Where? Oh God, I am. How am I supposed to guess this? All right, it's a yellow castle-like structure. For whatever reason, looking at this makes me feel like we're in Russia. Don't know why. Yeah, I feel like Russia. I feel like Saint Petersburg or around there is not a terrible guess. It looks like it's pretty chilly. Everyone's wearing jeans and stuff like that. It probably gets pretty chilly in St. Petersburg in the winter. Looking around, I don't feel like we're going to be in any one of the even more northern countries than that. So why don't we say somewhere around St. Petersburg? That's definitely a very tourist-like destination. So let's go like right here, make the guess, and the answer was Vienna. Really? That's v it's in Vienna? Oh, well. Uh, wouldn't have guessed at all. Well, I didn't, but I wouldn't have either. Uh, 2026. Okay. Very good. I don't know if there's any indicators that indicate... Well, I said indicators really weird. But I don't know if there are any indicators that could have told me where we were. Just, uh, just no old idea. All right. So, where have you been? So far, we are in a narrow little range here. We've uh, we, we've got some some pretty 
you know, pretty close by. All right, let's look at this truck. This is going to give us some good stuff. Huh. Uh, something, 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 something. Rovinge UI dot A. That doesn't help very much. The language. The language looks. Boy, the language looks. I'm going to say pretty similar to when we were in Slovenia. So, oh, a lot of flagpoles, no flags, really. All right, if I were a flag and I were here, what colors would I be? Would I be red, white, and green? Maybe, but looking at over here, probably not. Now, I'm realizing there's like a million boats here, and what do boats have? Flags. All right. So, what color are we going to be? Croatia. Is Croatia part of the European Union? I'm going to go out on a limb and say, ah, maybe Croatia joined. I've got a feeling these couple aren't, but maybe Croatia did? I feel like Croatia's not a bad bet here. It's in the right area of the world. It's on the water. Uh, you know, beautiful waterside, stuff like that. Now, we could, this could be an EU country, that's for sure. Uh, the reason why I'm not thinking is because it doesn't have those license plates. Dot HR. Oh, HR. My first guess was right. It is a flag. Is a country whose flag. Yeah, I don't think that means Bosnia and Herzegovina. All right, yeah, I was right. It is a, a country whose flag is red, white, and green. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, are we going to be in Kazetli or... Yeah, that's where we're going to be. So I'll make the guess, and the answer is going to be... Oh, for fuck's sakes. The HR is Croatia? You gotta be fucking me. I was going to guess, like, right here, too. Ah, damn it. Why did I ever look at that? I was going to guess literally right there. We were on the water. I had a feeling it was probably close to Slovenia. That's where I was going to guess. Ah. Oh. Damn Hungary. 2593. All right. Well, maybe this isn't Hungary. All right. That's okay. Hungary. Oh, come on. All right. Which flag stands out? Because that's going to be... Oh, God. None of these flags will stand out. This is the European Union thing, isn't it? What country is this? Ooh, why don't I? Oh, that's the uh, that's the that's the Czech Republic, right? Czech Republic, huh? Interesting. I always forget what that flag is. We got that. We got that. Uh, Hungary. Czech Republic. Got uh, Denmark. Got uh, Germany. Got Estonia. We got Ireland. Got Greece. Got Spain. Got France. Got Croatia. All right. So, well, is this like a European Union building? If it is, what country would this be in? Well, that's a good question. I actually really don't know the answer to that. For, I was going to say Switzerland, just because it sounds like it'd be in, like, you know, Geneva or something like that. But it's obviously not, because Switzerland's not part of the European Union. Right? I mean, God, wouldn't that be funny if this was somehow in Switzerland? Right? Um, yeah, we got all of them. We got uh, Slovenia over here. Where's that Slovenia? I don't know. What's this country then? Oh, boy, we're getting confusing. But Portugal, we got the Luxembourg, we've got the Netherlands. Oh, God, which is which? Is anyone able to tell? This one's Luxembourg? I thought Luxembourg had blue in the middle. Oh, we're going crazy here. All right, I, I can recognize all of these flags, or at least most of them. I mean, I, I like, ugh, boy, this is going to be really tricky. I'm not really going to recognize, I'm going to forget which one's Hungary, uh, which one's <laughs> Hungary, uh, which one's Hungary and which one's uh, Bulgaria, right? When it's Yeah, it's Hungary and Bulgaria. I'll forget which one's which, but uh, there you go. All right, so I, I know them pretty much, pretty much all of them, which I think is all, you know, you can really ask. Um, but what countries is this going to be in? I mean, it's certainly not going to be in Switzerland. Is it going to be in Germany? 
Eh, Germany sounds about right. I thought Germany or France, knowing the way, uh, you know, the UN works, it feels like that makes a lot of sense. Where is this going to be? Germany seems to make sense. Oh, it could be in Belgium. Yeah, Belgium seems like a good contender for it as well. Let's check out the license plates. Oh, they're red. Yeah, yeah I believe it's Belgium. Yeah, license plates have a little bit reddish tinge. Let's say you have visited Brussels, right? That's where it's going to be. We're going to be in Brussels. The answer is yes, indeed, 6325. Okay, very good. Where do we have here? Got to be honest, I, I don't know. I really, really don't know. This sort of thing looks very ominous. We've got a lot of people checking out a wall. It's got to be something interesting. We're in Europe yet again. More Europe stuff. I mean, that's the cool thing about living in Europe, right? It's like you can travel not that far and, and meet completely different cultures. Go to somewhere completely different. Whereas, like, I can travel. If I went to Vancouver, I would not feel out of place at all. It would be so familiar to me in terms of people, everything. Vancouver's not a weird place to go. But the difference between Vancouver and Toronto is like the same distance between, like, Madrid and Moscow. That's crazy. That is insane how far that is. Like, it, like Europe, there's so much stuff around there. You know, a five-hour drive. Where could I go if I lived in, like, a really nice central country? Yeah, Switzerland's always one you, you can go to, but I guess, like, if I lived in, like, you know, if I lived in Vienna, where would a five-hour drive get me? Where would an eight-hour drive get me? Think about all the places I could visit. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Well, there you go. Because five-hour drives, you know, it's not that much. The other day, the other day I went to Quebec City, you know, just, to, just for a nice, you know, casual drive. Quebec City and back. It's a pretty nice drive, I'll be honest with you, actually. If, if I'm going to sort of get really off track here. This highway right here, the 30? My God. is it ever, This is a, ever a nice stretch of road. Completely avoid Montreal. It's a toll road. You have to pay money. Somewhere around here, you, you pay some uh, you pay some money. But let me tell you, it's a, it's a very, very nice road. Would recommend. That being said, the 20 is a garbage road. Um, the 40 and the 50 are pretty nice as well. You know, there you go. It's Quebec City. It's pretty nice. But, I mean, okay, let's, let's keep this in view right over here. What are we getting in Europe? I mean, we're, we're going to go to Vienna, and I'm going to realize, you know, things aren't really that close. Ah, you know... Vienna, where, where have I gotten to? If I, like, centralize it, place it over here. Hey, you know what? We're getting pretty far. You know, we could, I could go to the sea. Could go all the way over here in Germany, all sorts of cool places. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Okay, you got to figure out where this is. I haven't even really been paying attention. So let's go down the street, try and figure out a little bit about this. Because, honestly, I, I've really got no idea. I really don't. Hmm... Oh, it's going to be Germany, isn't it? I guess so. Is it going to be Germany? I don't know. I'm not convinced. Is this is this police in German? Is it? Well, it feels familiar enough that it could be. But I'm not convinced that it really is. All right, let's return to start location. Does this look like Germany to me? I got to be honest, it doesn't. But, you know... Not everywhere in Germany is going to be, you know, sort of like a, a gleaming marvel of city engineering. So, you probably get that out of my head. You know, this little place looks pretty normal. Everything's under construction. Everyone who lives here is always pissed off because, damn it, I mean, like, you know, construction's never fun. Let's look at this bus. Does this give us any idea of where we are? It doesn't, and it just drives right on by, no care, Lion City, man. You know what, I'm starting to think Germany is a pretty good guess. Looking at the language, I'm starting to feel it, starting to feel like it, yeah, I mean, the censoring doesn't really help. Bistro Grill House, oh, look at that, I mean, no matter where you go in the world, you're going to find grilled meat on 
not a skewer, but you're gonna find you're gonna find this whatever you call it or wherever you are uh, delicious. So that's pretty good. Uh, now yeah, we're in Germany. Where? Uh, let's go to Lip 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 Lipzig. Let's let's go there. That sounds like fun to me. Make the guess, and the answer was Berlin. That's really Berlin? Oh, wow, okay. Well, there you go. 2931, my God, Berlin. Does not look like the Berlin I expected. 2931. And here we are, 17061. Very, very cool. Uh, so, we started off in none other than Maribor in Slovenia. Then we went to none other than Vienna, Austria. Then we went to uh, right by the sea. Rovinj in Croatia, then we went to Brussels, Belgium, and finally Berlin, Germany. How long does it take to drive from Vienna to Brussels? Probably like 10 hours. But I mean, that's crazy. It's crazy that it's not out of the question to, I mean, I don't know, maybe it is out of the question to drive from Vienna to Barcelona. But again, like, to drive from Vienna to like, Genoa or the like Riviera is not out of the question at all like if you were really committed you could do it and you know you, I mean you drive it one day that's probably pretty easy um wow that's really cool I mean my god you guys in Europe if you guys are into road trips how much fun is that a lot of people aren't into road trip, I'll be honest with you. The, the idea of most people to drive to, like, the damn corner store to get, I don't know, a, a, a carton of milk seems like the, the apocalypse. Just having a drive for five seconds down the street, you know? So a lot of people really aren't into driving. But if you are, there's so many places to explore, especially in a place where... You don't need a passport to go around. Because, my God, let me tell you, I would have explored so much more of America. I mean, let me tell you, this whole area over here, most of it is basically unexplored by me. But there's no damn reason. If I didn't need a passport to go through, and to go through customs, and not customs, but to go through a little checkpoint over here, I'd go exploring over here all the time. You know, why not drive to Vermont and back? That sounds like fun to me. Anyway, 17061... Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.